What is going on team? I'm starting this video with a commentary and it's a commentary that is kind of a little bit different, you know. Uh, these workouts that you're seeing on the screen, I worked out with Leah and Chris, two amazingly, amazingly humble, but two amazing athletes. And within the two, well, that out of the three workouts, the first two workouts, I got my ass handed to me on a plate. I got absolutely destroyed like left behind and you know I'm used to giving it 100% in the gym every single day and I'm used to using my mentality to get me up there and in contention with a lot of people especially in CrossFit workouts but it just showed the level and the caliber that these two athletes are they literally destroyed me in workouts and it was pretty pretty humiliating if I'm going to be honest with you but these two people are the epitome and the definition of working hard in silence and letting their success make the noise you know, and hard work doesn't necessarily guarantee success, but no success was ever possible without hard work. No matter how much talent or no matter how blessed you are, if you don't work hard, you're never going to be the best version of you and truly fulfill your potential. But it was a truly humbling experience and it just made me realise that I have a hell of a a hell of a lot of work to do in the gym if I want to be up there with the CrossFit athletes. And that I really just need to up my game, you know? But it was an amazing experience to train with two absolutely incredibly humble and hardworking and genuine athletes. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little commentary and uh, we'll be back with one very, very shortly. Come on, they're fucking yours, move it. They're fucking yours, move it, let's go. Six reps, strong. Power, let's go. One, easy. Two, mental, let's move. Let's go. Three, move it. Come on, last bits. Four, good. Deep breath, deep breath. Up, one more. One more, make it happen. Head up, head up, head up. Up. How do you feel? Shit. I wanted to vomit. I wanted to throw a fanny fit. <laughs> I thought I was gonna vomit. What's going on, guys? So it is now 1:30 on a mighty fine. Thursday. Uh, I took yesterday off after that uh, CrossFit session that you just saw, the three workouts that we did, just because my body and my central nervous system literally uh, just kind of died on me. So um, now today, I'm just going to hit it even harder. So I'm going to go hit legs. I am by myself today. I am rocking a Lift Nation blue t-shirt. So another t-shirt company sent me through some t-shirts, which, you know, is super humbling. And so I try and give back and, and they, it's, just, it's just cool. But anyways, it matches my... Uh, Shoes, which I'm pretty happy about because light blue is my favorite color. I literally love light blue. But anyway, we're just gonna have some uh, protein put in. I put the water in first. It's the same, you know, when you make shakes. Uh, a lot of people tend to take their shake to the gym and then obviously they, they put the water in and then they wonder why it's all clumpy at the bottom. And uh, yeah, so always put your water in first. Okay, so I prefer having like the oats as a pre-workout for legs uh, just because they're a more complex carbohydrate and just because they're more complex carbohydrate, they're slower burning, gives me a slower energy release, especially when I'm doing legs and I might be there for an hour, an hour and a half. I'm planning on doing kind of a bigger session today. Uh, I don't want to fatigue and I want to keep my energy kind of as high as possible for as long as possible. That's why I just go for about 60, 70 grams of oats, maybe an hour before, hour, like 30 minutes before I train. And obviously the protein, just to stop me going catabolic while I'm training. Legs is one of those big calorie burners. And uh, I just want to try and keep my body in a positive nitrogen balance, keep it in an anabolic state. And um, yeah, keep me ticking over. The bad boy. Decided to rain on the way. And I realized halfway down, I forgot my nanos. So, uh, I'm gonna have to squat my trainers. 
So as you can see, after a couple of warm-up sets, I did take my trainers off. The problem is with trainers and these specific trainers that you have for the gym, uh, they put you too much on your toes and they don't let you drive through your heels as much. So a bit of advice that I give out to a lot of you guys is to, instead of squatting in your standard gym trainers, to squat barefoot or do find a lifter or a flat shoe like a Nano. And yeah, enjoy this next raw clip. Lacking a bit of motivation in the gym today. So instead of going heavy like I was gonna do, I'm just gonna set myself a challenge. And today, it's 100 reps at 100 kilos, just as quick as possible. So uh, you can try this too at home. I'm gonna get every single rep on camera. I'm probably gonna speed it up for you and just see how quick I can do it. So, uh, yeah, this will get me going. <laughs> Especially as I know, I gotta get it done. And you as a team are probably gonna have a go at it too. So, uh, let's go. Okay, so we're back with commentary two or two, and this was a huge mistake making myself do this. You know, by the time I got to about 50 reps, my lower back, I think it was because of the deadlifts from the couple of reps ago, obviously my form is not the best because you are trying to go a little bit quicker, but my lower back was just blown out, my quads were blown out, and my heart was going, so it was a, it was a mix of kind of muscle building and um, cardio, but managed my 100 reps in the end, and you'll see the time that came up. I... I haven't got the whole clip, which was kind of annoying because I didn't have enough memory on my camera to record the whole lot. So I just left it running and after about eight minutes, the, the memory ran out, which was really, really annoying. But um, yeah, it was a good, good experience uh, of doing 100 kg, so 220 pounds for 100 reps. Nice little pump and it absolutely annihilated me. But after that, we went on to do some uh, Paramount machines, some leg extensions, and I don't think I got the hamstring curls on camera, but some hamstring curls. And that was about it. But if you do enjoy this video and you do enjoy the content, guys, do give it a thumbs up. And I do challenge you to do 100 reps at 100 kilos and come back to me and absolutely kick my ass on time. So uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the raw clip. My quads hurt. So is my lower back. Massive sweat on though, so 11 minutes and 7 seconds. Uh, didn't feel too strong, but it just gave me some motivation to do it. And sometimes that's what it's all about. But yeah, give it a go yourself. I died at about 50. What is going on team? We had just got back from doing legs and we had just crashed on the sofa. The 100 reps at 100 kilos really killed me off and I didn't get a haircut. <laughs> uh, just because it started raining on the way to town and I didn't want to go further into town and get absolutely soaked. So I'll probably just get that another day. I did do a competition to win the BCAAs and it was amazing how many people actually commented on the video. I do appreciate and read every single comment that gets put on these videos but i'm just going to choose one at random and it is luke mandy so yeah just and inbox me on facebook in, in instagram twitter wherever you want to do it and uh i'll put all the links down below snapchat and and a lot and uh, i will um send it out to you but anyway guys thank you for watching the video i do really appreciate you watching the video and um yeah we will see you in the next one.